We will learn in this presentation how to customize Ecosymbol Link Designer definition files to create sets of item properties for specific usages in the industry or infrastructure. I will work on an industry example. Standard objects such as doors, walls, and others have default properties and parameters. These properties are complete and support numerous characteristics and parameters. For doors, we see properties for manufacturer, hardware set, material in the place door dialog box. Visible attributes for building items are contained in definition files. Definition files are accessible via the definition editor. We will now see such properties with the definition editor. Under the door definition file, we see property groups for manufacturer, hardware set, material and others. We will see that it is possible to create new definition files and new properties for specific catalog types and items in case of specific usages such as for infrastructure or industry. For example, in the case of industry, we need to manage and use equipment and machines. The adaptability of Ecosystem Building Designer will allow us to create specific definitions for the machines to manage essential information such as for power, amperage, year of acquisition, date of maintenance, and so on. Actors of industry need to manage information which is essential for the industry process. Ecosystem Building Designer Connect Edition provides a full flexibility to adapt industry requirements and to respond to certain activities such as deployment, maintenance, and security. We will now create a machine item in Ecosystem Building Designer. I've created a compound cell from an existing geometry. A compound cell includes a 3D representation and a 2D representation for plan views. The 2D representation makes easier the layout of the factory, whereas the 3D representation is adequate for ergonomic analysis, connection to network, and lines deployment. Ecosystem building designer items or objects are based on several categories of information. The item will be in a catalog type. Graphic style will be input by families and parts. Graphic representation can be supported by various sorts of graphic elements. It can be based on a compound cell or on a simple cell file. PAZ file and parametric cell files support parametric objects. Another additional possible file format for parametric objects is BXF. We can also import RFA in Ecosymbling Designer. Properties or attributes will be input from definition files. Definition files provide all the attributes or properties for the assets. I first need to create a definition file to create the specific properties of the machines. I will create the definition file locally in the workset. Worksets are equal to projects. The machine definitions will only be available for this specific project. In the definition editor, I will create the necessary properties for this item. We need properties for number, designation, brand, type, serial number, year of acquisition, year of manufacture, dimensions, mass, power, amperage, tension, date of maintenance, maintenance frequency, security, manufacturer URL and GMAO. I can now hit save and close the definition editor. Definitions will now be available to create a new catalog type. To create a new catalog type for the machines, I will open the catalog editor from the data reporting ribbon. I right click on architectural and select new catalog type in the context menu. The catalog type definition dialog box opens and I will be able to add all the necessary definitions for the catalog type machines. First, I'm giving a name to the catalog type. I specify the location of the catalog type and define if it's local in the workset, common to multiple projects in the workspace or available at organization level. 
I now need to select the definitions that I will use for this catalog type dedicated to machines. I select the definitions on the list, which is in the below left interface of the catalog type definition dialog box, and choose the following from the list. Object classification, object identity, object material, pradef, machines. I now hit OK and all the properties located in the previous definition file should be available for the new item type creation. I right-click on the catalog type machine and select new catalog item from the context menu. I give a name to the new item and save it in the work set catalogs.xml. My new item is now available and I need to populate all the default properties in the catalog editor. I'm entering all the properties for the machine item. I populate all the properties fields in the catalog editor and you can see that we retrieve all the previously created properties. I give the machine a number, a designation, a brand, a type, a serial number, the year of acquisition, the year of manufacture, the dimensions, the mass, the power, the amperage, the tension, the date of maintenance, the maintenance frequency, the security, the manufacturer URL. I now enter the classification codes for the machine. We have different classification codes available, such as Master Format, Omniclass, CBI 2011, Uniclass. This classification codes provide standard identification of the machine. I now enter the item common information, ID type, ID number, ID name, ID description, ID asset tag, ID notes, part definition. I select the graphic symbology for the item with the part and family chooser dialog box. I now define the type of file to be used for the item graphic representation. As it is a compound cell, I choose BXC file and I specify the name for the BXC file. The name appears in the list of previously created BXC files. To end the item creation process, I choose the create thumbnail command from the newly created machine item context menu and I finally select save to save the changes in the catalog editor. A thumbnail is automatically created for the machine item. From the architecture ribbon, I select object. The place user defined type dialog box displays and I can select the catalog type machine. From the catalog type machine, I select the machine that we have created in the previous steps and I place it in the model. I choose an insertion point, give the machine an orientation, and I can even lock the x-axis. All the machine properties that we have previously populated are accessible in the schedules manager. I choose the data reporting ribbon and select the schedules icon. In the Schedules Manager, I can easily display and review the properties of the machine. This is the end of our session. I hope that you enjoyed seeing how Ecosim Building Designer could adapt to different activities and disciplines. Thank you for your attention and watching.